so our next topic is how do we do a development setup so we'll just walk through the development setup for bomni apps which is our bomni emr ui so that's documented in our wiki page let's open this page yeah so under bomni docker bomni web configuration page we have development on bomni ui section so when you want to develop or modify some of the bomni code so this may not be needed in most cases because the entire bomni code is driven by configurations wherever possible so first take a look at the configurations if it is configurable from the configuration you can do that from there or in scenarios where you feel that you may need to do some development on bomni ui you need to make some modifications on the code and compile it you can follow these steps so first step is you need to take a clone of this repo and open it up yeah so i have the repo already cloned now let me exit from this instance and say go to that repo cd open mrs module bomni app so i have the repo already cloned so yeah once you clone the repo you can follow the instructions in this repo you can do yarn install yarn ca compile the code once and the next step would be yes so you can follow the instructions in the readme to install the required tools and dependencies and you can compile the code once and once that's done you need to copy the folder where you have cloned the repository so now let's copy that i'll say some working directory we will copy this up and we need to add, set the path to the bomni apps path environment variable in the env file so now let me head over there so this is applicable for both bomni light as well as bomni standard so yesterday as we started bomni light i am using the same so i'll go to env and in there i'll search for bomni apps path yeah so here we have then i'll add that as my path here yeah so now once we add that path the next is we need to open up the docker compose file and we need to uncomment the volume section so go back again we'll go to docker compose and we'll find the bomni web service yeah so here we can see uh the volumes are commented which is mounts which mounts the local code to the hstdocs bomni folder so let's uncomment these okay command slash so this is uncommented now yeah so the next step is you need to recreate the container you need to sync up the configuration so i'll go back go back to the terminal let's say i'll go to bomni light the training demo we have bomni docker Slash bomni light, and I'll say docker compose up minus t. So as we can see, okay, it did change it in the right place. Yeah, bomni light docker compose. Okay, so in now, standard. sorry, uh, we are in bomni standard, right? Just a moment. No, oh, I just changed it in Bomni Light. So I'm doing doing the volume mounts in my local. Okay. Yeah, maybe let's try to open it up again. Yeah, the configurations are in sync. Okay, let me go to my browser and see if the MR UI is accessible. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so now let's say we'll make a quick change uh, for example i'll go into the registration page let's say i want to remove this patient image section here now this is just a simple example so the same setup would be the same so i will go back to the bomni apps folder ui folder and i'll head over to app registration so in ui code you can see every app has got its own folder for example i'll go to registration 
then go to the view section let's say where is the create patient view yeah we have the new patient view and we see here is where the photo section is let's comment this off command slash so any change be it on the html or be it on the javascript that would be reflected yes so now as you see that section got disappeared like you know you can do any change on the html on the or the javascript side and those changes would be reflected automatically on your browser so a tip here at some times your browser may catch the request and it would start serving the same thing so if you face that scenario you can go into the inspect mode and then if you go under network for your development purposes you can enable this option disable catch so once this is set your browser would not follow the catch request it would every time reach out to the server for your file so this is just a simple explanation the same would be for most of the front end repositories be it on the implementer interface side or appointments any front end code you want to customize we have the volume which enable you can just clone the path build the code in your local and you can update the path for example for implementer interface the same we have the volume commented set the path and you can uncomment it okay we'll pause here any questions Yeah, seems like none. Yeah, I'm getting back to the slide. Yeah, do we have any more questions around any topic? Docker, AWS, anything? Okay, so we'll quickly see the next slide. Yeah. So Bumni communication channel, uh, we have different ways where you can get in touch with the entire Bumni community. So the first is Bumni Slack. Uh, we have a Slack. You can go to this wiki page. This has all the links, all the reference links where you can get to know about these communication channels. So Bumni Slack is one thing where you can join appropriate channels and ask your questions. You can feel free to post your questions in community channel. If you have any issues around setup or any Docker, AWS things, please feel to post it in the Bumni Infra channel. And then apart from this, we have the discussion forum, which is OpenMRS talk thread. You can go there, find references. You know, most of the issues gets discussed there, any new feature requirements. People who have tried out something, all those being posted there, you can get a look there. And then apart from that, we have weekly pad calls, which happens every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. AST and 1 p.m. UTC. So feel free to join in if you want to discuss something. You'll get the reminders in the community Slack channel as well. The Zoom link and everything would be shared there. Okay. Okay. Does anybody has anything to share? Someone wants to share something? Any questions? Okay, seems like none. Yeah, going back to the next one. Yeah, we have the feedback time now. So please spend two minutes of your time to help us with the feedback. We'll go through the feedback and we'll incorporate the SOM in the next trainings. And sharing the link in the Zoom chat. Okay, I see a question. How will someone be able to install Bomni and take updates in an offline facility but leveraging Docker slash Compose? 
yeah so that's also possible uh, the images can be pulled down uh, saved to a usb drive or a stick and that's actually also been documented we'll get the page here so install and set up Yes, so this is the page running Bhavani with poor or no internet connectivity. So basically, in a place wherever you have uh, internet, you can Docker pull the pull the images, whatever versions you want, and then once you once we run the Docker save command, we can get a tarball out of it, and we can copy this to a USB drive or any hard disk, and then we can go to the actual environment where we don't have the internet access to the Bhavani software. And we can load the Docker image. So once the Docker image is loaded, we can apply, update the tag in the .env file. And when we do Docker Compose, the new images will be loaded. So it's basically you get all the artifacts in the location where you have an internet, and then you go to the Bomni server, unzip the unzip the binaries in that machine as a Docker image, and then you start up the containers with the new images again. Okay, any other questions, thoughts? Okay, seems like none. Thank you. Thanks everyone for joining for the training sessions. We'll see you soon in the upcoming session. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.